Mm -hmm. Diana asks you, since now we're in the real world, what's different for you in season three so far? And I know you can't tell us much. <laughs> right. I wish I could. I wish I, I could. I know, I know. Of course I do. But now, in a way, I'm like, no, I like to get surprised when I'm sitting back yeah, watching the show. Too. So I don't like to get too much spoilers with, with a show like this anyway. Um, uh -huh. But this, I guess what you can say about what's different for you and your experience on the set for the third season. Mm. Great question. You know, I... I first of all, I just want to address the spoiler aspect of of um, of what you mentioned. You know, I too am a fan of watching a show as as a whole without any spoilers. You know, I'm I watch Westworld like that too. I okay. try and not know as much as possible. So when I do watch it, I watch it with the public. Um, so I mean, of course, I do know some things, right? <laughs> uh, so the and I think that, you know, the intention of the show is to really receive it as the gift of it as a whole. Right. And just enjoy, you know, watching it as a whole without the spoilers. However, um, you know, uh, season three has been, it's, it's a lovely feeling when you come back to a show like this. Um, so many people are, um, we're like a weird tribe of artists that get together and, um, you know, we jam out in our own respective crafts right. and for the greater good of this show, uh, for this entertainment. And uh, coming back to, to the show, it definitely felt like that, that we've created something of like a Westworld family, mm -hmm. uh, which is a lovely place to, to be. Uh, people check in on each other and it, it is lovely. Um, in regards to actually the, the storytelling side, it's still as fantastic and fabulous as ever. You know, they're still as secretive and close to the chest um as they have been previously as well it it still does give me so much excitement to read each script to uh for, for me um you know to know that uh they're still like giving it their all all the or you know packing still packing the punches of all the twists and levels and uh and what have you and season three uh, is I think people are going to be really, really uh, happy with the show because there is an element of, because it is in the real world, there is an element of it being a little more linear. Um, and I think because the groundwork uh, for the show mm -hmm. has been laid in seasons one and uh, two, you understand kind of a lot of the um, basic elements of the themes that they're trying to tell you and that these characters are going through. So in season three, um, there isn't so much uh, the need to uh, uh, put in all these different mechanics. The mechanics of the show is happening. And so it does, it, I do think people are going to think it feels a little more linear. Gotcha. Yeah, I can see that already. I can definitely yeah. see that so far already. Yeah. I know you probably have been asked this before, possibly. Let me know if you have. Yeah. How different or similar are you to the character Felix? Mm. You know, uh i mean there's a part of me in every character i play mm -hmm. and uh felix definitely has certain aspects of me but no i'm a very different guy to, <laughs> to, you know? <laughs> very different. Right. Um, but but i definitely through felix i've learned a lot about myself mm -hmm. um i will say that i have learned a lot more about um well not only the world that he lives in, in regards to uh, technology and you know that ha it, because being on the show it, it has really awakened that side of me to really be interested more in technology and how it affects humanity and that intersection um, that that is something that has happened but uh, personally a, another level um, is my empathy has kind of grown more mm. because I've had to really um, tap in a lot to um, to that side of myself for mm. Felix and uh, to constantly live in that space mm -hmm. uh, while filming definitely uh, makes you look at a lot of your life in that way too. Um, yes. So I'm very lucky to play Felix. 
Yes, yes. And you do it so well. <laughs> so we love and we and it was so funny because we had just this teaser of you so far in episode two. And so we're just like still wondering if we're gonna see you in the new world or what's you know, yeah. that was like a disillusion. So I mean, you know, we just can't wait to see what oh, that's I love like. hearing that. Yeah. <laughs> Because we don't know where the show is going. So, you know, when you have all these characters that's been in the park, you know, aside from Dolores and Maeve, we know they're eventually going to be in the real world. And, you know, Stubbs is in the real world, and of course, Bernard. But it's like seeing other characters that you're so used to seeing in the park in the real world will, will be weird. <laughs> it'll be you know weird. I mean? like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah it, it'll, it'll be strange. So I can't wait to see what they're going to do with that or not, or, you know, how that's going to work. But um, so Darian Danju, he's one of our filmmakers here in Atlanta, who I think actually he's in Canada right now. But um, he had a question that I wanted to ask you. Um, so while you were working on the show, I'm just going to read from his uh, question here that he sent cool. in. Um, so while you're working on the show, you're allowed to um, watch other like scenes beside your own, right? Ah, <laughs> so, great question. Yeah. What other scenes uh, that they filmed with Evan, Evan Rachel Wood or Jeffrey Wright were you able to actually see? I don't know if they were just like putting up a curtain or something like, no, go over there, go in back in your dressing room. You can't watch this right now because it may, you know, give you a big spoiler. Did they let yeah. you see anything? Yeah. They, I mean, I have to say that now in season three, everyone kind of the, I guess, for lack of a better term, the OG people from season one, yes. you, you kind of, they, they understand that, you know, you're, you, you get the traditions of the show. Mm -hmm. And so you don't give out spoilers and, you know, you, you can come and support. There, there have been a couple of times that I have, you know, snuck in to see other people mm -hmm. work and or right. when you, when you know um, a certain uh, moment is going to be um, played out uh, on set that you may not be in, uh, we do go and watch. Um, uh, a lot of times, you know, because you want to see not only their performances, but, um, you know, these other creators that come together to create these worlds, these technicians, these craftspeople is just beautiful. Yes, and it to is. See it, you see them creating it and focused, so focused in their own way. And then when it, when the cameras are rolling and everyone has to kind of do this and everyone watches it happen, uh -huh. it is a magical, magical moment. Wow. You know? Yeah, wow. it is really a beautiful thing. And you do feel that love and support from everyone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's always exciting to see, uh, to watch something uh, be played out. You're like, oh, how are they going to do that? And you yeah. Know? yeah, especially now because you have more fight scenes. Like Bernard is in more fight scenes and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And and Dolores is obviously doing hand to hand combat. In yeah, the first, she is. Like, first episode, I'm like, Ooh. wow, she's like, like you know, she's getting it. And, yeah, she you know, is. She, you guys had like guns and stuff, but you didn't see this. You you didn't see people be this physical. Mm -hmm. So that was probably different to watch them yeah yeah okay. very much so uh wow. and it's always exciting you know when you uh -huh. see people do this it's like movie magic you're like oh my god uh but they're definitely uh you know there are definitely some scenes that they just say you cannot come right you know? right no right. one is allowed on yeah yeah that's yeah that's fine <laughs> that's fair that's fair i get that you know exactly. Yeah. exactly and there are times that you know there are certain actors and in certain moments that you need to respect that privacy because if mm -hmm. it is a super technical or super focused emotional mm -hmm. scene, they may not want to have so many people on set. Right, right.